Hi, my name is MG Nachi and you're welcome to talk with MG. If it's your first time here, welcome to the family. I'm so excited because I have my loving friend here with me. She is a digital content creator. She's an actor. She's a comic. What is it called? Comic words. I'm very good. But anyway, she's super talented. Christianity is boring. Are you in the category of persons that see Christianity as boring? Say the truth to me. I thought help you out. <laughs> so in this video, we're going to be having discussions on why people feel Christianity is boring and whether or not Christianity is really boring. So I'll have my guest here with me share her thoughts. <laughs> Kemi, her name is Kemi. Yeah, sorry, I missed the part. So Kemi, do you think Christianity is boring? Do you see Christianity as being boring like you can do. Okay, uh, yes and no. Um, Christianity can be boring. Um, and I'll tell you why. Okay. Christianity can also not be boring. And I'll tell you why. Mm -hmm. um, when I started this Christian race, no, it's still something we yeah. want. Mm -hmm. It was boring. I grew up as a Christian, in, from a Christian home, you know, and stuff like that, spoke in tongues early. And stuff like that, but it was boring. I couldn't read my Bible. I couldn't speak in tongues for ten minutes. Mm. I couldn't. It's, it was it was boring to me. That's the truth. Until I really, really met God. So, but I feel that it's when you get to know the person you're in a relationship with. That spice is there. You understand? So when I began to know God and know the Holy Spirit, because He's a real person. Yeah. But Christianity now is not boring to me. Um, sometimes it gets boring when it becomes routine mm -hmm. because we're talking, yeah. So, so we're talking about, um, let's say you have to wake up and pray every day, read your Bible. Sometimes you don't feel like it, and at that point, I'm like, can't you just do what I want to do? Do you get? <laughs> I agree with what she's saying because I feel like in our world today, why most people feel Christianity is boring is because they don't understand why they do the things they do. Like she said earlier, most of us are Christians because we were born into Christian families, not necessarily because we actually enjoy being Christians. You know this saying, when purpose is not known, abuse is inevitable. Yeah. Yeah. If, you, if you don't explain to me why I have to fast, mm. if I don't understand why I have to fast, why I have to pray, why I have to go to church, it becomes boring because it's like a burden to me. Mm -hmm. You get? That's the difference between Christianity and religion. Religion is routine. Mm -hmm. Religion is boring. True. I think Christ fought those um, the Pharisees. Yes, 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 because they were very, very religious. He condemned their he acts. He condemned it. So we must differentiate these two between religious practices and Christianity. Christianity will continue to be boring for you as an individual until you ask yourself some certain questions. First thing, ask yourself, why am I a Christian? Why do you even go to church? Or go to prayer meeting. Or fast. Or pray. Or read your Bible, <laughs> or do Bible study, you know. Do you do those things just because it's routine? You wake up in the morning in your house, you must do morning devotion, and then because that's what you do every day, you make it boring. Or you go to church because if you don't go, your pastor will realize you're not in church and keep calling you every day. Why do you do the things that you do? Are you being Christian because you want to just mm -hmm. feel among, you know? My friends you know are Christians. My friends are Christians, exactly. I grew up in a Christian home, so henceforth my, my crowd is, is Christian. She gets. What will daddy say? What will pastor say? Thank you. So you don't want to be that wayward child in your house. I tell you, it will continue to be boring. But by the time you understand that, you pray to God to have, to commune with Him, to have revelations from Him, yeah. to, to just be immersed in His love, in His glory. Christianity can never be boring because the way you pray today is not the way you pray tomorrow. He's, 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 he's He's diverse. He's di he's rich. That's he's diverse. He gets. People that are in the world, hmm? the worldly people, they enjoy those things because they know why they are there and why they want to be there. Like fully enjoy it. They fully. En <laughs> in fact, we some Christians eh, look at these worldly people and get attracted to the kind of things that they like. And mm -hmm. I'm confused because you can't be here and there. You can't be sitting on the fence. That's it. But it's not boring. That's the truth. It's like, not. Stop it's confusing your identity in Christ. Thank Sorry. you. Stop confusing your identity in Christ. Do you get? Yeah. Today you cannot be for Christ and then tomorrow yeah. you're in the world. In the world. It's just like today I'm fair, tomorrow I'm black. Like, no, <laughs> no, 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 no
stop yeah. the whole pretense. Yeah. Yeah. Stop the whole I go to church on this day. Or, like some persons now, eh, they go to church only on Sundays. They open their Bibles only on Sundays. Mm. Do you get those people? You you begin to wonder like it's just religion. You I hear some people. I was talking with someone and I was like, you hear some people say things like, let's say you're playing a worldly song on on a Sunday. The person's like, ah, you they play this kind of song for Sunday, and I'm like. Should you play those songs other days? Oh, oh. Do you get my point? <laughs> so you see some people on Sunday, Sunday morning is when they'll start playing the whole I want more of you <laughs> or all those things. What happened to the other? You remember that song? The Bible is not for Sunday morning. Sunday morning alone. <laughs> Each and every day. <laughs> Do you get? Like his verses are new every morning. You have to tap into it every True morning. Ball. Basically though, I just feel that because People over exaggerate and underestimate Christianity. Like so true. And if stuff is that, um, it's 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 who we portray out there. Thank you. That people see. Mm-hmm. So with all of your heart, pursue your faith. Pursue what you believe in. It's better to die for something, and right? Than 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 just that that sounds, than live for nothing, ma. That sounds so inspirational. Yeah, <laughs> better to die for something. That was dope. Man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> God loves consistency. The principle of consistency is that once you stay at something, you begin to explore its depths yeah. more and more. It's like a learning curve. Yes. It's all it, it, it is. So that's, that's, that's it. it. Actually, Christianity, uh, it's a lifestyle. Yeah. The moment you forgive someone, you're being a Christian. When you when you show love to someone, you're being a Christian. When you lend a helping hand, you're being a Christian. Do you get? When you feed someone, you're being a Christian. Yeah. When you share yeah. your ideas, your knowledge with people, you're being a Christian. People yeah. neglect sure. those aspects. Everybody just sure. feels being a Christian is when you when, when you're you holier than thou, or you know all those kind of no. no. It's a continuous lifestyle, it's a lifestyle practice. It's a lifestyle. When you live Christianity as a lifestyle. True. It's easy for you. You don't see it as being boring. And another thing, people don't want to be Christians or people consider Christianity as being boring because of how some persons have painted it to be. There are some lies about Christianity. There are some common lies about Christianity. Let's debunk those. Lie number one. (laughs) That a Christian must be poor. Ah! Please, like, that's, a, that's an error. I'm not poor in Jesus. Amen. I can never rich. be poor. Please, I'm allergic to poverty. <laughs> Jesus, no. Christians are not poor. Like God is a rich hmm. God, though. God is a God of wealth. Take a look at Job, the earth is Abraham, money. Moses. Uh-huh. These are people that he he pumped with wealth. The Abraham fought a whole country just from the the slaves in his house. Mm. He, they, they, when they when they were gathered together, they could form an army. You get that's, that's power. Ha. That's wealth. Ha. That's riches. That's influence. That's influence. Oh. Both. Ah, you even need money to enhance the kingdom of God. Yeah, you can't just be preaching, 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 and be saying, "See, and when God wanted to build the temple, do you know what He gave His specs? <laughs> he said, "Use gold. Use how will God be saying you? Do you know how expensive gold is? So you need money to actually move things in the kingdom of God. Yeah, if you need to go on a missionary journey. You need money. Anything you need to do, Christian wise, to help people, to fund projects. Yeah, you need. You need cash. Ego. <laughs> Let go. Line two, <laughs> okay. So line number two is that Christians do not dress well. <laughs> like not in the sense of being indecent to, or rather Christians dress. Look at me. Old school. Old school. How do I look? That's the word. Come on. How do we look? Hey. Flip the head. <laughs> Christians are beautiful. Exactly. And cleanliness is next to godliness. I mean, God is a so. king. Have you seen a haphazard king? Wait, imagine God's mm-hmm. temple. Have you read the book of Revelations when God hey, is describing a new heaven and a new earth? Hey, Jesus hey, Christ! Hey. You are from a kingdom. <laughs> Word! You are from a kingdom. Dressed like a queen. Exactly. A, a king. You are from the most a powerful prince. kingdom. And you want to be wearing rags. You are from the most powerful kingdom. And you want to be wearing rags. And you Represent I, yourself. Jesus. No, I mean, I mean, you can. I mean, you can. See, and when you're dressing eh, as a Christian, mm. look at yourself in the mirror and tell yourself, I'm a queen. Both. Am I dressing like someone from the kingdom of God? Do I look good enough? Take a picture. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> line number three. <laughs> Let's debunk that. Yep. Okay, line number three is that people feel that, okay, as Christians, it's only God that you know. You only read Christian books. So you feel it's boring because you're like, oh, I can't watch movies, I can't read some other kind of books. No, knowledge is key. My people die from lack of knowledge. Knowledge, thank you. You cannot hide under the umbrella of Christianity mm-hmm. to be senseless. Oh. So you see some people that is only God that they Word. know. You don't know career, you don't know 
finance. You don't know anything. You don't know. You're just there. You just when they say come and cover. <laughs> Jesus is that God has given us no skills. Productive. Then your skills are lying dumb and dead. Just oh. because you're lazy. You're just lazy to develop yourself. See, uh, as a Christian, in fact, being a Christian is what should even motivate you to want to know everything about anything about everything, honestly. So, as a Christian, sure. I will advise you get all the knowledge you can and can all the knowledge you get. You get, you get, like, nice. when, when, like, I get all the knowledge. You see, when I go to church, I learned that in church today. That when you get all the knowledge when you can, can and can all the knowledge you get. Yes, only God will know, but in. And all knowledge and all fullness of understanding is in God. Yes. And to the matter that the best way to get and assess this, this knowledge is in God. So no Christians are not uh, are not ignorant. Thank you. Christians are not basic. Mm. Christians mm. are a mm. world of wisdom, mm. a world of information. Don't you want to be a Christian already? Seek ye first the kingdom of God and every other thing shall be added Goes to you. I mean, David was a shepherd. Like all everybody in the Bible, they had side hustles, I beg. Oh! <laughs> you can't just be a Christian and be useless. No. Oh, I will bless the works of your hands. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Yeah, so. Line number four. Line number four is that one major thing that also makes people think that Christianity is boring is because they feel like they can't utilize some of their gifts and talents in the Christian sphere. Example, people that can rap, they feel like, oh, rap is devil, devil's music. Devil's music. I want to rap. Hey. Rap. Hey. I want, I'm going to yeah. praise the hey. name of the God, the one, the king, the Lord, the one to the praise and the one who... That's great. And the Lord, his king, his El Shaddai, oh, Elohim, no, I do not no, come on yo, your hands, yo, hey. yo, hey. Rap might, might not have had a nice origin, you get, but we can correct things, she gets, we can correct things. So instead of telling your child, I get out, that talent will never work in this church or work in this place. Give the person an opportunity, if not, you end up chasing this person away from the kingdom of God to the kingdom of darkness and you answer for it on the last day. That's True. all I have to say. True. That's all I, even if you see a child that talks too much, mm. begin to channel the child's mouth to be saying the right things when the child is talking. That's how you shape in talent. Don't just say, I really want yeah. to talk too much. Shut up. It's like, mm -mm. Yeah. You get. So give these people opportunity. If not, you make them run to places where they feel that they can do those things freely without being criticized. That's one common mistake that must be corrected. So yes, as a Christian, you can do rap. Go and watch Lacrae and other rap artists christian rap watch artists. me i can rap to which i know right <laughs> don't show yourself and also christians can actually travel the world don't feel like because you're a christian you can't explore you can travel yeah. the world you can do all these things god wants to give you influence and yeah. god wants to put his people out there because in, in order to take the gospel out there we have to have some form of influence mm -hmm. wealth information yep. and talent thank you so all these things that you have that fed you lies it's not true it's not true in summary christianity is not boring the only things you're not permitted to do as christians are things that are derogatory are things that demeans who you are in christ are things that you know underestimate your value as a human being and as a christian are things that are unlawful things that are immoral those are the things that you are not permitted to do as christians so if you feel like those things are what make christianity boring then you rather not just be a christian because True. at the end of the day you're like the problem not christianity you're the one that is boring <laughs> if you actually think christianity is boring you're the one that is boring not christianity i like that one do you know why because the rich bit is sweet mm. he, yeah Whoa. Oh, no. No. You don't know why you're you missing. need to experience it. You know missing. Don't don't be told experience no, it. So like if you're really interested in experiencing this so that you can glow the way we are glowing, yeah. Just give your life to Christ. Romans 10 verse 9 to 10. Read it. Confess your sins to God. Accept him as your Lord and Savior. Tell him genuinely to come into your heart and take his place in your heart, basically. You'll be saved. Congratulations in advance. No God Jesus. for yourself. No God for yourself. If you know God for yourself, eh, you will go to church even if your pastor has fallen out of it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Right. I hope we've been able to convince you that Christianity isn't boring. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> so do give this video a like and subscribe and please leave your comments below we'll be glad to share your experiences and your christian journey with you as well oh and a big thank you to amaka oh. africa i've been showing off my anyway right. <laughs> so thank you to amaka africa for this wonderful 
bracelet plus hair tie you can double as any thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time on talk with